transport now we will start about the transport of gamete okay so in transport of gamete you have to understand them how the oocyte or the sperm transport okay so first of all about the ovulation that this is the oocyte during ovulation when this oocyte the stigma formation occur at the surface of the ovary and this will become ovulate what will happen this is the uterine tip and this is the fimbria of the uterine this is the fimbria they start sweeping movement just like a sweeping movement this become uh, contract and the fimbria movement due to fimbria movement when the ovulation occur they attract this the oocyte toward itself when this attracted go to the uterine tube in fendulum of the uterine in the infendubulum there is the peristalsis occur peristalsis is actually the contraction and relaxation process the contraction and relaxation process start here and due to which they they move move through this area toward the uterus and by peristalsis contraction and relaxation by relaxation okay they move toward the uterus and this is actually called the uh, by sweeping uh, peristalsis they move toward the uterus at the ampulla they, they fertilizes and that is something now about the sperm, the sperm transport sperm is actually there is a storage star sidecar epididymis mainly in epididymis itself sperm are rapid transport to the urethral by by peristaltic contraction now so, come here that there is the prostaglandin and fructose prostaglandin is present in the sperm okay now we will tell how it happened when the sperm is the in the seminiferous tubule the sperm is developed they will move toward the they will move the, this is the epididymis they will move toward the epididymis and epididymis the maturation of the sperm occur when the sperm maturation occur and they they also store here and also mature here there is the sertoli cell now i will tell you that how it's developed for example 200 to 600 million sperm are deposited external uterus for vagina for example this is the vagina at during during ovulation when the couple, couple are during interact with each other and the sperm ejaculate okay during ejaculation the 200 to million sperm ejected and to the vagina okay formics of the vagina during sexual intercourses okay they are tell the when they cervix is cervix have a fluid like structure so cervix have fluid or mucus but the enzyme vesiculase produce seminal gland coagulate some of the semen ejaculated to form vaginal plug for example they move and they form vaginal plug that prevent backflow of the sperm for example when sperm enter through the cervix the vesiculase enzyme form a plug here this is the vagina they enter the sperm enter after they form a coagulation plug because to prevent the sperm backward movement okay so the backward movement of the sperm stop here okay another is the reflex ejection semen may divide into two pairs one is the emission another is ejaculation semen is delivered to the prostate part of the urethra through ejaculatory duct by prestasis duct difference uh, now i have already discussed that this is the the present in the this is epididymis and this is the duct difference from here they move along this and there are known as this is ejaculatory duct here is the urethral urethral orifice this is the urethra okay this is the bladder actually and the bladder when during emission this bladder this area become closed okay this penter closes to prevent them prevent the urine from here okay and the prostate gland this is the pro they add their secretion etc and the sperm move from here okay this is a bulbo urethra and everything now this is actually about the things now another is ejection ejaculation expel urethra through the external or literal orifice closure of the vesicular spender i have already that how it's bladder urethra muscle and bulbo spinous spongiomosum i have told that they actually the, here this this painter is closest to prevent the uh, urine okay from to add with the sperm another is the in the when the sperm move okay the muscular contraction of the wall of these organ occur and due to muscular contraction they will move okay now another is fructose is present in the seminal gland fructose and prostaglandin prostaglandin increase uterine motility when they enter into the uterus the uterine motility increases 
okay and fructose pro fructose provide energy fructose provide energy to the sperm this is simple things of the about the transport of the thing now there are two muscles one is the bulbo spongiosum muscle and another is the urethral muscle they both contract and due to contraction the sperm move with high speed to the vagina okay now we will tell about maturation in the next step so maturation